Emmy-winning artist who has a new documentary coming out this Friday on Amazon Prime Video called Pink, All I Know So Far. Please welcome the one and only Pink! <laughs> ah, it's so good to see you. Hi, bud. Hi. Ah, I love you. Oh, thanks for the hug. I love it. Uh, you know, we were talking about you pretty recently because we had Steve Buscemi on the show. And he was explain. <laughs> he told me some story that sounded pretty insane. This is when you first started out. You ran up to him because he obviously he was Mr. Pink uh, in Reservoir Dogs, mm -hmm. and he said he thinks you came up to him and said like, <laughs> "You don't understand, but I'm named after you, and I'm going to be a big one day or something." And he was freaking out about buying a gift or something for. He had a big long story, but he was so embarrassed, and he <laughs> thinks it was you, and he never got a chance to apologize to you. Do you know what I'm talking about? And is this a real story? Oh, I, no, it's a real story. But to be fair, I ran at him on a New York street. I, I physically, I'm like a hummingbird with my love. I'm very aggressive. Okay. And I was just this pink hair. I remember I was dressed in like all, all a silver ensemble and I had short pink hair and a tongue ring and I just, you're Steve Buscemi and you're Mr. Pink and I'm pink and you're pink and I'm going to be so famous and I just love you. And then I got my, and he's like, what the <laughs> He's like, ah! I would have reacted that way too. Okay. It was a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> That's so funny. And you haven't seen each other since? No. <laughs> and all this time, for 20 years, I was like, that guy hates me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I, well, he, anyway, he was embarrassed and he was like, because obviously we know who you are now. Uh, if, if you don't, you're living under a rock. Um, uh, this weekend, you have a huge weekend. You're getting the Icon Award at the uh, Billboard at the Billboard Music Awards. Just uh, don't listen for a second. I just want to let everyone know who else. This has only been giving out uh, ten times. Uh, here's the people on the list: uh, Celine Dion, Mariah Carey, Cher, Janet Jackson, Garth Brooks, Jennifer Lopez, Stevie Wonder, and Prince. Uh, Pink. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. At first, I was like, "Oh, it's the old lady award. I'm getting the old lady award. They <laughs> yeah, want right. me to. They want me to go." No, oh, it's unbelievable. But no, it's amazing. I read the names. I was like, "They got this wrong. There's so many other names that should be there." But um, no, it's Every a huge time. honor. And I'm anytime they give me eight minutes to perform, I'm like, "Oh, it's on." Yeah. So I'm very, very, very I'm probably looking forward to this performance more than I have. Uh, looked forward to one in a very long time. I'm very nervous. I don't know how many people come up to me and say, like, have you ever seen Pink live? And I go, yeah. I, and they go, it's the best concert I've ever been to. It's amazing. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm terrible at a lot of things, but I can, I can perform. Yeah, you can. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly correct. Uh, and I love this, by the way. Pink, all I know so far, set list, your first ever live album. Uh, I love the name. Uh, yeah, thank you. You never wanted to do a live album. Nope, I never wanted to do a documentary either. Um, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you did, because now you're on the show. <laughs> it's fantastic. Because it's stuff to talk about. Uh, but yeah, I just miss I miss live music, and it it's just I think we all do. I miss sweating with strangers, and yeah. I I I listened to this yeah. this set list all the way through, and I just felt so good at the end. I think a lot of people still after 20 years think I'm just this man-hating, obnoxious, loud, uh, so what, Rah! but yeah. we do so many fun covers and so many genres of music and there's queen covers and time after time and I just felt really happy. One of the, we do We Are the Champions in Rock and Rio in Brazil and I was just instantly back there with 100,000 people sweating and happy, and it just makes me feel good. The and record who, makes me feel good. Pink, uh, who directed this again? Uh, Michael Gracie from The Greatest Showman. Yeah, Michael Gracie, Greatest Showman. Uh, amazing uh, director, and I, I think uh, if I were you, I would be like, document everything, because you put on these shows that are like, whew. do you get a chance to ever look at your work? And you're like, oh yeah, I did that. That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I don't experience things in real time. It takes me a while. I look back and then I'm like, oh, wow, like I hung from the side of a building. Why? <laughs> but with this, <laughs> with, 
with this documentary, I was like, you know what? As kids, you 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 narrate your life and you tell these stories like about your childhood, and everybody had a terrible childhood in some way. And my mom locked me in a closet. I'm sure of it, and I was never fed. And so, whatever stories my kids come up with about me, this documentary will prove that they're not telling the truth. <laughs> That's the whole reason for doing this, so that they can see that mommy was always loving and gave you a great life. That's, That's it. See, you need that. Yeah. So yeah, lawyer up. That's, That's fantastic. Uh, uh, we love you. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Pink Thank you. in her new documentary, All I Know So Far, Amazon Prime Video. Take a look. They grew up with the hotels and the jets and the never having to worry about things like money and safety. And I'm their mom, I'm their friend, but one day, you know, one day they're gonna see through all of it. They're gonna see the act. They're gonna see through the strength and they're gonna find the truth underneath, I hope. And they're gonna discover little Alicia who's still hiding in here, who's still learning how to heal. And I just hope they have the grace and the heart to accept my mortality and to accept that I'm human like then and then they'll have their own kids and so the cycle continues, all of it. Flying through Wembley. Flying through Wembley. So cool. Pink, everybody. <laughs> pink, pink.